we're going to the ocean in the Hampton Dunes. What do you call it? It's West Hampton Town. The beach is called Cupsock. The beach is called Cupsock. Google Maps labels, labels it the West Hampton Dunes, but this place is rich AF and there's usually fancy cars such as the Jaguar F-Type in front of us. But there's like way crazier stuff than that. So I'm just going to take video and hope I see some cool stuff. The houses are cooler than cars. The houses are pretty cool. Except for that one, it's all a bunch of squares. Well, we're at the we're at the poor part of the rich. Oh, area. yeah. So they have like Ferrari Californias instead of like, you know, Lamborghini Murcielagos. It's fine. And lots of police. And if you didn't know, this is like a long, skinny peninsula thing, so we're surrounded by water on both sides. It's just a bunch of stuff in the way. So that side is the bay, and then the side's the ocean. So the richer people are on ocean side. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll skip that one for today. Would make a good video though. Would probably go viral. <laughs> I could name it Woman Driver Rear Ends Jaguar. Fuck you. And then the internet would go bonkers. Some weird, weird houses. Modern architecture. Some modern condos that nobody can afford. That's the whole point of the dunes, right? Is to like live on the beach and have a house that looks like it belongs in the desert. These all make like, beach houses we're talking about. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, and they had two Mercedes SLs. That's fine. Need two. Can't have just one. Somebody's got their baller Jeep. SUVs, an Audi A7, Tesla, ah, affordable Miata. Oh, there you go, Porsche. Not sure which one. Nine Eleven convertible, of some kind. So. Range Rover, Maserati, Porsche Cayenne. Another Range Rover. The last time I was here I saw like three Ferraris, so I don't know where all they went. Commoners go with their normal cars. Go to the beach. This sand is hot. I knew that was gonna be hot. That's why I was like, I'd rather work in the than that. I yeah, I can't feel It's fine. Yeah, maybe it'll pull the glass out of your foot. Maybe. I hope so. No, I will found the beach. to try the water. It's probably cold AF. 
but I guess I'm gonna go in two, so time to have some fun. Well, unfortunately, we're leaving the beach a little bit early because Melissa's old family dog is getting put down because apparently she broke her leg and she has cancer and stuff, so it's her time now, I suppose. But we had a lot of fun. Waves are cool. I only pulled like three muscles, it's all good. Um, so yeah, see you soon. Forgot the keys, so she's ready to get those. We're headed out. Better view of the bay over there. That's the bay in between the South Fork and the uh, West Hamptons Dunes. Damn, somebody drove a Jeep Wrangler here from Texas. Talk about gas money. Check this out. Buy seven Slurpees, get 11 free. What kind of a deal is this? What? All right. It's so pretty. Awesome. So this is the Hudson, right? I was already in the lane. Thanks. So we almost just got into a car accident. <laughs> it's fine though. There's the. Oh, I don't like your phone. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, did you ever figure out the lens? Yep. <laughs> that is SUNY Maritime College right there on that peninsula. Yeah, look one. There you go. See the Alright, so we're coming off the Throg's Neck Bridge. And there's the city. Must be some expensive houses, huh? My best friends, I think you know, Brittany. She's yeah. Yo, this place got gummy bears on a stick. What the hell? Man. The best belly is a bear belly. I want Cute. this. This is like. Can you sit around? <laughs> Do it. So, as you can see from those clips, we left. Uh, we're just barely inside Connecticut at a, like a welcome center service station. Pretty nice by the way to keep the bathrooms clean. Soft TP. But uh, we just got some Taco Bell. We're probably about four and a half hours away from home. And this is kind of cool. Tesla superchargers. I've never actually seen one in person. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so driving's been going pretty well. Lots of traffic. My girlfriend's staring at me. And now we're gonna keep driving. <laughs> Athena? Hello? <laughs> Ugh. Guess at this gas station is expensive as hell. Yo, I've at least heard of Pinkberry, but what the hell is Cheese Boy and why didn't I go there? That's all I wanna know. Two garage. Well, we got back pretty late last night, like 2.30 a.m. Trip went pretty smoothly, um, but I was pretty tired. I totally forgot to vlog, and uh, so now it's the next day. You know, woke up a little bit late because we were tired. Got some good sleep. Ugh. Took a shower, and I'm about to actually head home. So, yes, as usual, I'm behind schedule. 
a good kid. Um, I don't know why my sub does that, it's really annoying. Um, I also remembered that I completely forgot to talk about what happened with the dog. So unfortunately their dog, um, which was older, about 13 years old I think, um, broke her leg uh, after <laughs> chasing some gophers, but actually she was just walking across the lawn and it just it just snapped. I don't know, she was an older dog. But uh, So that was really sad. We went to the vet and she already had cancer in that leg. And so they decided to put her down, but it was pretty nice because the whole family was there. Melissa, both of her sisters, both of the parents, um, and the sister's, uh, you know, husband she just got married to. So everybody was there, and everybody was in the room as she got put down, and we were all crying, including me. Um, it was really sweet. So really sad, but it's nice how it works out sometime because literally the next day, um, Melissa's sister and her husband would have been on their honeymoon, we would have been gone, and her other sister is going to college soon, so she would have been gone soon, so it kind of like worked out in a nice way, but anyway, that stuff is really sad. Um, so other than that, I am on my way home, I'll probably do a little quick outro when I get there, I am behind schedule, but I'll still try to get something done on Tuesday. And I know these vlogs came out late because I definitely did not want to edit after I got back last night after like seven hours of driving. So, I'll catch y'all soon. truck is carrying but it says 51,720 pounds that's insane let's drive down with four chains wow all right I finally made it back to all my all my junk cars sitting around all that good stuff so I'm gonna end it here folks uh, looks like I'm gonna be working on cleaning the garage right now um, I definitely gotta edit and put out these videos I'm way behind um, but you'll be seeing more real car work very soon. Thank you so much for watching Ito to Garage. I will be seeing you soon and you will be seeing this soon. Thanks.